Good morning, it's Deanna with Ferns Frills, and I thought you might enjoy, I'm going to be posting these on my blog a little bit later today, these little headbands I made, um, it's kind of close, and I can't get to the camera. Um, this is a great big humongous flower, and this is the headband that it goes on. And this is one of those um, earmuffs, you know what I mean, earmuff headbands, so they stretch out. So, that is, that one, this one, is totally finished. These are just, this is just old um, pieces of yarn that I had around here that I decided maybe that's too much light on there well, maybe not um, that I decided I'd make those up because they really don't take very much as you can see this is a rib stitch okay kinda like the ribbing on your sweaters and on the neck you know how you put them around your uh, the cuffs on your deals uh, on knitted sweaters. Well, knitted sweaters, of course, are different than crochet, but um, when you do it this way, it comes out with the same. The reason why they're like that on those is because they stretch good. Okay, so this is a full size um, head warmer, ear warmer band. And so I've got these five that I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess. <laughs> I made seven yesterday. Okay. So, super easy. Thought I would um, share it with you and show you something else. And it's quick and easy. They make really nice. Um, Really nice Christmas presents. You can put bows on them uh, or flowers like I did on that one um, for smaller kids or you can just leave them plain just as a head warmer. Um, so what you do, okay I'm going to show you again just for those who might not have got my tutorial yesterday. You make your loop, okay, with the loop like that and then you're going to put the long piece through the middle in order to make a slip knot. Okay, and I am using regular thread. This is just your regular old everyday, I'm sorry if I was out of frame on that, everyday um, lion's ball yarn skein of yarn that you get anywhere. You know, you can get it for $1.89. Okay? It's soft, it's nice, and it works. This is a J-hook. Um, imagine you can use one, one smaller or one larger um, to get the same, pretty much the same size, but um, I wouldn't go much smaller because your your elasticity isn't going to um, do as well with one smaller. Okay, so what you do is you chain across 12 stitches. So you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Once you get 12, you're going to stick your hook in that second um, chain. And we're going to do what's called a single crochet. When you do a single crochet, you stick the hook in, pull up some, okay, I'll do it one more time. Well, I'll do it a lot more times, but stick the hook in, bring some yarn, you've got two on there, bring it through two. That's one single crochet. Now you're going to go to the next one and you're going to get some yarn, have two, bring it through two. 
that's two double crochet two single crochets and then you go through the next stitch bring up some yarn have two hoops get some yarn bring it through two three single crochets go through get some yarn bring it through the two four double crochet single crochets all we're doing on this is single crochets so this is a different stitch than what I showed you yesterday. Totally different. Okay? Well, it's not totally different. You just don't get yarn at the beginning. Okay? So you go. And I want to show you up close if it will let me. Always your first starting. Come on, camera. Your starting is always going to be the hardest. But do you see how on your chain you have the little loops and a loop and a loop and a loop and a loop? Those are the stitches. And that's where you're going to be going into. So the next place I'm going to put my hook is right there. So you go in, get some yarn, bring it through two. Go in, get some yarn, bring it through two. Go in, get some yarn, bring it through two. And the reason why it's the hardest when you first start out any project is because you don't have anything to hold on to. You're just holding on to this little teeny bitty piece of something. But if you'll be patient, you'll get it, okay? Or have somebody you know start it out for you for your first um, couple of times. Now what we are going for is 11 single, see what I mean? 11 single crochets across here. And that makes a good size headband with, um, even when it's pulled out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now we are going to do one chain. Chain one. In all patterns and single crochets are SC. The ones we learned yesterday are DC. Today it's SC, single crochet. Okay? And when you turn, every time you get to the end of a row with single crochet, you're going to chain one in order for it to be um, the right height. Otherwise, your stuff's going to be squiggly. Okay, now, in order to do ribbing, there is a special way. I'm going to pull that out, take my hook out, and talk to you for a minute. Okay. This is from the top, okay? We're looking at this straight down. See how we have two pieces of that stitch because it's a loop, remember? All crochet is is a series of loops, okay? So there's two sides to that loop and there's two sides to this loop and there's two sides to that loop. So when you're counting, that's what you're going to be counting. And there's two sides to this loop and two sides to this loop. Okay? So if we were to count this, we would say, okay, one loop, two loop, three loop, four loop, five loop, six loop, seven loop, eight loop, nine loop, ten loop, eleven loop. We have eleven single crochets across there. Now in order to do ribbing, okay, you must single crochet into the correct loop. And the correct, or the correct side of the loop, I should say. Of course, it's the same loop but there is a side and you have to go in 
to that side. So you've changed your one, okay, and you see your very first loop right here. You are going to go into the side away from you, and your own that little piece of stuff is getting on our way. Okay, so you're going to have only trying to get it here. Okay, let's start again. So you've got your two loops there. One on this side, which is beside you, and one on the other side. You want to stick your hook down in between both of them and bring it out on the one that, okay. This one is toward me. This one is away from me. Okay? So, because I'm looking at the screen backwards. Okay. This one is away from me. I'm going to stick it in between the, the middle of the loop. And I'm going to go through the one away from me. So my hook is totally away from my body. Okay? And I only have one loop on there. That is what's going to give it the ribbed effect. So I've got, I've gone in, I'm going to get some, yarn over and get some thread. And bring it back through. That's one single crochet. No, it's not. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go in, get that, bring it up. Now you've got two on your hook. Then get some more and bring it through. That's one single crochet. Again, you go down through the middle of the both and go away from your body. Get some and then bring it through both of them. Through the middle of the two, away from your body, get some yarn to where you have two loops on the hook, bring it through the two. Through the middle, away from your body, get some yarn. You've got two on your hook, bring it through. In through the middle, up, got two on the hook, Get some yarn, okay, down through the middle, away. Now what, if you were to read a pattern, and it would tell you how to do this, it would be saying to single crochet in the back loop, the back of the stitch, okay? And if you look here, you can see a ridge forming of all the front loops that are toward you, okay? Because they're being left out. And you you are, because you are only doing in the back stitch of that. And there's only one. And it kind of pulls up a little hole there. Looks like there's a hole. That's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. Don't freak out, okay? So go in through the middle, away from your body. Get some yarn, yarn over, get more yarn, and bring it through the two. In the middle, away from your body, get yarn, bring it through two. Through the middle, just exactly like that all the way to the last one and you have 11 across there what do you sorry what do you do at the end of the row chain one turn it around all right so now we again are going to go in the very first one don't skip any Okay, 
me show you how close that is. Here's your chain one. And you might want to go over here in this. That's not correct. You want to go at the in the very first oh keep getting out of frame here. In the very first one. And go away from you. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to do these across. Go in, away from you, get some, bring it through two. Go in, away from you, get some, bring it through two. In, away from you, get some, bring it through two. In, away from you, bring it through two. And I want to do enough of these rows for you to see the, um, the effect. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. We're going to chain one, turn around, go in that immediate first one, and go all the way back across. In through the middle, away from you, get some yarn, pull through two. In through the middle, get some yarn, get two on the hook, get more yarn, pull it through two in through the middle away from you get yarn to where you have two hoops get some more yarn bring it through two in through the middle get some yarn got two hoops get some yarn bring it through two in through the middle away from you get some yarn get some more yarn bring it through two in through the middle away from you got two hoops bring it through and blah 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 all the way across and you know what after all the years of crocheting that I have done I sit here and count now I count in my head of course 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 but I count every single time I can sit here and listen to a story or do whatever, hold a conversation, but I'm still counting. And if I get totally distracted and I need to go back through, I go back through and count. Every time. It is so important that you count. Because if you don't, you're going to get off and it's going to be wrong. Now, you, you might be wrong and you can fix it, you know, real easy. You don't have to take a bunch out. But you must count to see whether or not you're wrong. Okay. I don't see it. know if you can see it. But it's already formed. We've already formed those ridges. See the ridge here? Oops. See the ridge here? And the ridge here? And when you turn it on the other side. Come on camera. There's a ridge down here. And then there's going to be one here. Okay, I am going to do this for 48 rows. Okay, you want 48 rows for an adult. Um, you might check it around your head, make sure you're you're okay. If you want to add a few or less, you know, if you're, but stretch it so that it'll stay on. You know what I mean? You don't want you don't want something loose that's going to come off. Um, but from what I have found and what I have done, 50 rows is good. So I'm going to do this and I will come back and show you how to um, finish it off and sew it together. Okay, be right back. Okay, I have gotten my uh, 48 rows done. So now I am going to sew this together. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your two, and it doesn't matter. Like here, I was I was like this, right? If I pulled this up this way. I 
couldn't very well sew that across because it's backwards. I mean, I could, but it would be hard. So just turn it around. Okay? So to where you, you're you working from your right to your left. And you take, again, starting in your back to the actual, actually, in what you're going to have across the bottom of your, um, your very first one is you're just going to have loops because you've already worked in the top of these loops. Okay? So you're just going to have that one sticking out there. So you're going to take the back, go through the back, uh, just like you were going to start another single crochet. And then you're going to go over here and you're going to go to the coordinating loop. And as you can see, I'm taking this tail and I'm tucking it in there. And I'm going to keep it in there. And I'm going to pull up to where I have two and then one. So I'm doing another single crochet. So I go to the back loop, go over to the coordinating loop on that side, grab some yarn, pull it through. I have two on the hook, bring it through. And I do that all the way across. And as you can see, you are sewing that end in as you go. So you're not going to have to worry about it. There might be a little tail that you have to cut off to, um, you know, that you're not going to be able to get down in there, but it's never going to go anywhere. When you get to the end, you're going to do the same thing, and then you're going to take one stitch, just like I showed you yesterday. You're going to take one stitch, oops, my scissors are on the floor, so. Okay, and then you're going to pull that real tight, and then to weave it back through, you're just gonna, you know, a lot of times the your patterns will say take a needle and all that good kind of stuff. Just weave it through. It's not a big deal. Just weave it through. A lot of times, I like to weave it back through. I'll show you what I mean. So I've woven it through that way. Now I'm going to come back and bring it back the other way through there. That way it goes up and then comes back and it's never going to go anywhere. And when I can get my scissors I will cut those See, this is the little piece from the other side, and this is the little piece from that side, and I'll just cut those off. And it just makes another another ridge in your deal. And if you turn it the other way, it just kind of makes a goofy camera a little flat place there. But I'm going to put a, a flower there. so. It won't make any difference. I'm actually going to put it on this side. But on this side, once you get those two done, I mean, unless you really knew what you were looking for, you wouldn't just you wouldn't see it because it's just another. It's just another. Um, what do you call them? Ridge in your ribbing. And there you go. 
So that's going to be on my blog. I'm so sorry I haven't got the other um, the book bindings on my blog yet. I'm having a real problem um, transferring over. There were some scriptures that I was trying to put on there, and I really can't. If you guys, if you truly want the scriptures that I formatted and the... Um, the written instructions for the book bindings just um, do a private message for me and I'll be glad to email them to you because they're just they're I, I don't know why they keep coming up as too big of an image to put on the blog which is dumb and I, I don't know why I have worked and worked and worked with it and I I compressed them I've I've done everything I can think to do. I mean, they're just little scriptures, you know, but I, they, it won't let me do it. So, um, if you will um, private message me and you know how to read a pattern and stuff and you would like those, I will be glad to email them out to you. All right, ladies, that is my little bit of crochet for right now. All right, we'll see you later.